Well, Keto Yo, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome to my next episode of my cook along through Keto Connects Keto Made Easy. Today's recipe I'm excited about, super duper excited about. I love waffles, I love zucchini, I love cheese. So, together, let me hide. We're making savory cheddar zucchini waffles. In that order, savory zucchini cheddar waffles. Let me gather my ingredients and we'll get started. All right, so here's my ingredients. We have some grated zucchini, some cheddar cheese, some eggs, some coconut flour, some salt, some red pepper, and garlic powder. You just mix it together in a bowl. It smells like guacamole, like almost exactly like guacamole. It's very, very strange, but I ain't mad at it. Um, originally I was going to make it in my little mini dash, but I realized how much, we'll, we'll say better, there is, and decided to switch to the Big Daddy that you saw in my very, very first video. So, all this just mixes together and you just plop it in there, you cook it, and it's done. This is going to be a short video, you guys. But let me let this bigger iron preheat, and then I will throw one of them daddies up in there. This is my last meal before a at least three-day water fast. So I'm cracking on with some pork rinds. These are so good. They're my favorite pork rinds. And they're just like, they have seasoning on them. Did you want one? <laughs> they're so good. I just wanted to share that. I'm not sponsored. Could you imagine? This guy is sponsored by Epic. <laughs> Epic Provisions. Come at me. Okay, so Matt and Mega say to use a third cup for each waffle. So I'm trying to like do this thing and put it in the center and just press it down. Oh, it's that sizzle. She's closed. All the noises. She is sizzling. Of course, he's hoping for some keto waffles to come his way. You think you could give me some keto waffles, Colin? All right, let's do the big reveal, you guys. Oh, there she is. She looks tasty. Let me get her out, though. So it came out like super eggy. I don't know if you can hear that. But I'm gonna try to make it the keto oaky waffle way. We're gonna put some cheese on him. So I went to open this to check on it. <laughs> it was a fail. But I don't think this is gonna come out. It's a good thing we got this one. <laughs> so she came out, but look at the difference. That was the winner. Although, you have to wonder with the coconut flour, did that have an effect on the things as it sat there and soaked up the liquid? I don't know what the bottom of this looks like. Not crispy there, but crispy here. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna top them, see what we think. Okay, so I topped them with some sour cream and some cheese. I don't know if you can see that. Let's give it a whirl. I'm gonna start with the one that looks like it's supposed to. It kind of matches the picture. I mean, I did a pretty good job with that first one. Matching the picture. I mean, I did pretty good. <gasps> Throwing things all over the place. Oh my. <sighs> Let's try this waffle. It's good. It is eggy. That's to be expected. It's got a good kick from the red pepper. Flavor is good. But just like the last recipe, 
the um what was the last recipe you guys the uh, frittata <laughs> it's a good base it's a good place to start but i would play with this let's try the keto oki version she cuts crunchy Just judging the original Keto Connect recipe, how would I rate it? Ease, two out of five miles. Here's why. You gotta shred your own, I almost said, almost said coconut. You gotta shred your own zucchini. That's kind of a pain. And not that it's Matt and Mega's fault, but my waffle maker uh, didn't cooperate with the sticking. So there's that, but I don't, I, that doesn't go into my decision. Just shredding the zucchini and then squeezing it and draining it and you know, that whole thing. It's just too much. It's too much. Taste. I'll give it three out of five Juliuses. It's good, but it could certainly be better. So, that's that. That's a total of five out of 10. Not bad. Lots of room to improve, but we're kind of going downhill here. So hopefully next week's recipe is a winner. Oh, it's gonna be. So this is a recipe where I have to combine two recipes into one because we're, we're making the five-star breakfast sandwich. And in order to make the sandwich, you need to make the keto bread, which is somewhere else in this book. So next week, we're getting two recipes to make we're getting a recipe to make this recipe so two recipes total thank you guys for watching i love you as always we'll see you next week matt and mega as always i am still available for adoption and as always hashtag keto yo bye